What have you found to be the best approaches for improving VO2 max? Well, first off, it can actually be improved quite a bit. I think the research out there understates how much it can be approved because the research studies are relatively short. So mm -hmm. it's true that in a 12 week study, you might see, you know, kind of an 8% improvement or a 10% improvement. I would say that's just the tip of the iceberg, right? We're, we're not talking about 12 weeks of training here. We're talking about a lifetime of training and we're talking about 25, 50% improvement in VO2 max that anybody who's been involved in serious training will see all day long. Mm -hmm. So the how is also very important. The analogy I like to use, which I'm sort of borrowing from one of my old cycling coaches is that think about building a pyramid. The VO2 max is the height of the pyramid. So if you want to build a really high pyramid, it also has to have a really wide base. Mm -hmm. So the key for building a high VO2 max is saying, I'm going to spend about 80% of my aerobic training time in zone two. And this is counterintuitive, right? A lot of people think, oh my God, if I want to build a high VO2 max, it has to be all intense training. No, you have to first and foremost build that huge aerobic base. That is the pyramid that, foundation. that allows you to make the peak higher. So once you have that aerobic base, that other 20% of the time is used well above. So basically, most people are training too hard to build the base, but not hard enough to build the peak. So they're in what I kind of think of as garbage training zone. And, and not to kind of rip <laughs> not to on get it, too but technical. it's like, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's like, you know, that's sort of the problem with doing a lot of sort of fun classes and stuff. Look, it's absolutely better than sitting on the couch for sure, mm -hmm. but it's not specific enough to achieve this goal. So you really want to kind of separate that zone two from that zone five. And when it comes to VO2 max, you basically have to be in the three to eight minute range is the sweet spot. So it's got to be intervals that are about three to eight minutes. So three minutes at the low end, mm -hmm. meaning you're doing something that is so hard, you can only do it for about three minutes. And at the high end, eight minutes. So if you can do it for more than eight minutes, it's not doing a lot for your VO2 max. If you can't do it for three minutes, it's also not doing the maximum amount for your VO2 max. And just for clarity, that's the zone five that you're referring to, building the peak. Yeah, exactly. And here you're typically doing about a one-to-one -one work to rest recovery. That's how hard these intervals are. If you do three minutes at whatever that output is, you're going to need about three minutes of recovery before you can do it again. Mm -hmm. So we typically say, look, a good starting point is four by four. Four on, four off, four times. That's mm -hmm. just a great workout to start. Just doing that workout once a week. So if, let's say three days a week, you're going to do your cardio and it's going to be kind of the low end zone two cardio. One day a week, you, so you pick an exertion level that you can barely get through four minutes of it. You can do it, but you, know, you have a little bit left in the tank, but not much. And that, that you need four minutes to recover. And then you do that four times. Sandwiched between a warm up and a cool down. If I'm understanding correctly, that would be the building of the peak. What does the zone two training look like for you or your clients? Long and slow. I guess what I'm wondering is, aside from subjective perceived exertion, mm -hmm. is there a heart rate range or anything else that you can use as sort of a proxy indicator so people can have something to aim for? Yeah, once you get fit enough, lactate becomes really good. So measuring mm -hmm. lactate with a point of care, like a finger prick device is what I do. Yeah. And you're, you're looking for a lactate level of about 1.7 to 2 millimole for most people is the zone. For people who aren't yet fit enough, their lactates are usually going to be way higher than that while they're still training that energy system. Or if people just don't want to do that. And for those people, RPE, rate of perceived exertion, is really the best way to do it. And it's far more accurate than heart rate. So mm -hmm. the RPE is you should be able to talk, but you don't want to. So today mm -hmm. I did a zone two ride. I spent the entire, this is very unusual, but just because of the way it was today, I spent the entire zone two on a phone call. My entire mm -hmm. workout was on a phone call. There was absolutely no confusion on the part of the guy on the other end of that line that I was on my bike and that I wanted him to talk more than me. <laughs> like mm -hmm. I was breathing like this. It was like, okay, so 
yeah, you know, like, I mean, that's, that's kind of how I was going at it. Mm -hmm. I can nasally breathe when I'm doing zone two, but it's, I'm right at the limits of what I can do. And it's very easy for me to nasally breathe. Like I don't mouth breathe at night or anything like that. So that kind of gives you a sense of it. Mm -hmm. If you can talk pretty easily while you're doing it, like if you're out on a walk and you're talking to somebody, that's too easy. If you can't talk at all, that's too hard. Mm -hmm. And I think that is by far the best test. And just to, to give people some more specifics, so for the zone two, how long would a target session be? How many times per week? And then similarly for the four by four, let's just say that you described for the zone five building the peak, how many times per week would you do that? I think if we can do that once a week is great. That's zone five. Yeah, zone five. And I think for zone two, we think minimum effective dose. So again, it depends on where you're starting. If you're starting with you've never exercised in your life. I mean, boy, we'd be happy to get you doing two 30 minute a week zone two sessions, but you very quickly will start to adapt to that. And I, and then I think we start to get into three hours being the MED. Oh, wow. Okay. And that might be kind of three 60 minute sessions or four 45 minute sessions. 